In this video, I'll be using a policy to deploy WinRAR. I will deploy it using two different methods. One is where we create a policy for the main computers and then the computers install the software during startup. Another one is where we create a policy for the main users and then the users themselves can install WinRAR whenever they like. I will also use Wix to package the executable into a MSI file. I'm starting this video from my GitHub page and that's because there are a few bits of information here that I will be using for this video and I will leave the URL in the description down below. Also in the bottom of the page you can find more of my videos that are related to this topic. For example here you can find videos about my Windows Server setup if you are interested in that. There is also videos about extra group policies and settings that I'm using when I'm deploying software using group policy and also a few videos about Wix on how to install it and use it. And now I will begin this video by downloading WinRAR executable installation files and for that I will use the link that I have here that brings me to the WinRAR download page. Then I will click on this button right here and go to my downloads folder. And now that I have my executable I need to package it into an MSI file. And for that I will be using Wix and for Wix I need the configuration file. And for that I will go to my GitHub page and here I have a few configuration files. One is called WinRAR and this is already finished configuration file that you can check out if you want to. But for this video I will be using this one called template. So I will click on it and then I will click on the button right here to download the configuration. Go back to my downloads folder, I right click on the file and I will rename it to WinRAR. Then I will right click once again and open it to the Visual Studio code. You can use any other text editor and as you can see it's only an XML file. Basically it's instructions for Wix on how to package the executable into MSI file for us. And this configuration file is a bit special because of this part right here. Basically here I am configuring active setup to launch WinRAR once for each user on the computer. And I will explain why in the end of this video. Anyways, when working with this configuration file, we only care about this part right here. Basically here we need to enter the information that is specific to WinRAR installation. First we need to name our package, so I will name it WinRAR installer. Then for exe we need to provide the executable file name, so I will go to my downloads folder, right click on the executable, select rename, then I will select the full name to, to include the extension. Because the extension is important, I go back to Visual Studio Code and paste in the value here. Then for the path we need to provide the location where we currently have our executable. And in my case it's my downloads folder and my downloads folder is in my D drive. So I'll type in D and downloads. Then we need to provide silent arguments because we want this MSI file to execute WinRAR installation silently. And for that I will go back to the GitHub page and here I have the silent switch that I will be using. So I will select it, copy it and then I will paste it here. Then we need to provide a version number for this MSI package. It's unrelated to the software version but in most cases I like to keep the same version number. So I will copy it from the executable file name. I will paste it here. Then I will add a dot here and also a dot in the end and I will add a zero. Then publisher is not that important, but it's a mandatory field. So I will enter, let's do automation. And the last thing that we need to provide is GUID. And GUID is a unique identifier and we can use PowerShell to generate one. And to do that, I will go back to the GitHub page and here I have the PowerShell command that I will be using. So I will select it, copy it. Then I will open my terminal. I will paste in the command here and as you can see, Every time I'm using this command, I'm getting a new unique identifier. So I'll select one of the values and then I will paste it here. And that's basically all the, the information that we need to provide for Wix. And now we can use this configuration file to generate an MSI file. So for that, I will go back to the terminal and here I will change the location in my terminal to the location where I have my executable and the configuration file. So I'll type in CD, then D, and downloads folder and press enter. If I type there, you can see that we can see our executable and the configuration file in the command line. And to build the MSI package, let's write Wix, build, and then we need to provide the configuration file name. So for me, it's winrar.dot 
WXS and let's press enter. And let's go back to the downloads folder. And as you can see, we have our MSI file. I will right click on it, select copy, and then I will go to VMware Workstation where I have my Windows Server environment. For now, I will minimize the Server Manager and I will move the MSI file to my desktop. And from my desktop, I will move it to a network share that is accessible to my users and computers. So I will open File Explorer. Here I will enter my file server name, it's SRV02. And here I have the software share, so I will go inside of it. And then I will create a new folder here called WinRAR. Go inside of that, and I will move the MSI file into this folder. And here you need to make sure that you have the correct NTFS and shared permissions. For example, in my case, if I go to Properties, Security tab, and Edit, you can see that I have authenticated users with read permissions for my NTFS permissions. And I also have the same permissions for my share permissions. And authenticated users covers both users and computers that are in my domain. And with read permissions, that means that all of my users and computers are able to access the share and execute files from it. Anyways, let's close everything here and go to the server manager because now we can start creating our group policies and for that I will go to tools, group policy management, then I will right click on group policy objects, select new and the first policy that I will be creating will be for my computers, it's where the software is installed during startup. So I will, I will name the policy assign winrar and click OK. Then I will expand group policy objects, right click on assign winrar and select edit. And because this policy is for our computers, we need to go to computer configuration, policy, software settings and software installation. Then I will right click here, go to new and select package. And here make sure that you're selecting a file that is located in a network share, because it will allow you to select a local file located on this server but when the computers would try to install the software, the installation would fail because they would not have access to this server's desktop. So to access the network share, I will click here and I will enter my file server name, it's SRV02. Go inside of the software share, WinRAR folder and select the MSI file. Here I will select advanced and click OK. Then I will go to deployment tab and advanced. Here I will select ignore language when deploying this package because I want to deploy it for all of my computers no matter what system language they have. Then I will click OK here and here and we are done creating our policy so I will close this window. Then I will select the policy here, select details and for GPU status I will select user configuration settings disabled because currently this policy only has computer configuration settings in it and I will leave all other settings on default. Now after creating our policy, we need to assign it to an organization unit that is holding the computers on which we want to deploy the software. In my case, the organization unit will be this one, the main computers one. So to assign the policy, I will click on the policy and hold and then drag and drop it on the organization unit. As you can see, the policy appeared here and also if I click on the organization unit, we can see the policy here. And that's basically it. Now we can go to one of the client machines that is located in this organization unit and see how this policy works. And for me, it's my client 01 that I have here. I will open start menu and open a command line without administrative privileges. And here I will type GP update to update our policies. And as you can see, group policy update was successful. And here we get an informational message saying that the computer detected a software installation package and that it needs a reboot to install the software. So let's reboot our computer. I will type cut down minus r minus t0 and press enter. And now let's see what's going to happen. Here we can see that WinRAR is being installed. And it's, it's done installing WinRAR. And now I'll sign back into my computer. And as you can see, a few seconds after signing, WinRAR starts for this user, and this will happen once for each user on the computer. 
And the main reason is if I right click on the shortcut right here, this menu right item right here, because it appears only after WinRAR is launched once. Anyways, the deployment for our computer seems to be working just fine. And now let's create another policy, this time for domain users, and let's allow them to install WinRAR whenever they like. And for that, I will go back to my server. I will right click on group policy objects and select new. This time I will name the policy publish WinRAR and click OK. Then I will select the policy here. I will right click on it and select edit. And because this policy is for our users, I will go to user configuration, expand policies and expand software settings and select software installation. Then I will right click here, go to new and select package. And once again, make sure that you're selecting a file that is located in a network share. This one is, so I will double click on it. And here I will select advanced and okay. Then I will go to the deployment tab and for installation user interface options, I will select basic because I don't want to allow my users to select anything during the software installation process and then I will click OK. And we are done creating our policy, so I will close this window. And this time for GPO status, I will select computer configuration settings is disabled because this time this group policy only has user settings in it. And I will leave all other settings on default. Now we need to assign this policy to an organization unit, but this time we need to assign it an organization unit that is holding our users, in my case it's domain users. So to assign the policy I will click on the hold on the policy and then drag and drop it on the organization unit. And as you can see the policy appeared here and also in the list here. Now let's test this group policy and for that I will go to my client 02. Here I have this shortcut that allows me to install the software from a network. But currently the list is empty here and that's because we need to update our group policy. So for that I will open start menu, I will type cmd and type gp update. Now let's wait for the policy to update. And as you can see the policy update was successful. So now if I go to my software list and do a refresh, you can see our software installation package right here. I will double click on it to start the installation and the installation finished almost instantly. Here I will click OK. And if I go to start menu, all apps, you can see that we have a WinRAR installed. But if I right click Microsoft Edge icon here, right click it, you can see that I don't have WinRAR menu item. And if I go back to the client 01, you can see that if I right click on the Microsoft Edge, we have this menu item right here. And like I said, for that menu item to appear, we need to launch WinRAR once. And for that, because we have active setup for this user, we can go to start menu and sign out. And then sign back in. Now let's wait a bit. And as you can see, now WinRAR was launched for this user. And if I right click on the Microsoft Edge now, you can see that we have this menu item right here. And that's basically it for deploying WinRAR using group policy. In the future videos, I will deploy WinRAR using other software deployment tools. So like and subscribe if you want to see that and see you in the next one.